हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माय सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एच पी एस एस सी दैट इज हिमाचल प्रदेश स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर 2022 पार्ट फोर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू डेज एम सी क्यू आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट फॉर विजिटिंग अवर चैनल फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू इनेबल ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग वीडियोज Let's start today's MCQs. Question number seventy-eight. Azure spermia is option A. Less sperm in semen. B. Non-motile sperm in semen. C. Non-spermatozoa in ejaculation. D. Dead spermatozoa in the ejaculation. Fact available for this question: It is Azure spermia is the medical term used when there are no sperm in the ejaculate. it can be obstructive where there is a blockage preventing sperm from entering in the ejaculation or it can be non obstructive when it is due to the decreased sperm production by the testes so we can say generally it is azoospermia is the term where there is no sperm in the ejaculation so we can say option c no spermatozoa in the ejaculation will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 79 Values of glucose in adult cerebrospinal fluid is option A, 60 to 80 percent of the blood glucose level; B, 16 to 18 of the blood glucose level; C, 6 to 8 percent of the blood glucose level; D, same as the blood glucose level. Fact available for this question: It is normal levels of glucose in the CSFs are greater than 50 milligram per deciliter to 80 milligram per deciliter, or In millimole, it is 2.8 millimoles per liter to 4.4 millimoles per liter. If you have lower level of the glucose, you may have an infection. So we can say the level of glucose in the CSF is generally around 60 to 80 percent, as normal blood sugar level is 70 to 110 milligram per deciliter, and the CSF glucose level is 50 to 80 milligram per deciliter. So we can say it is option A. 60 to 80 percent of the blood glucose level will be the most appropriate answer for this question. Move to the next question number 80. At ninth week of the fetal life, the measure hemoglobin is option A, HbA, B, HbF, C, HbA2, D, Hb variant. Fact available for this question it is a baby growing in the womb has high level of HbF, that is fetal hemoglobin. the level of hbf usually drops to tiny amount about 6 month after the birth hbf contains 2 alpha and 2 gamma subunits while in the major form of adult hemoglobin that is hba contains 2 alpha and 2 beta subunits so we can say from the given information during the fetal life major hemoglobin in the blood it is hbf or fetal hemoglobin so we can say option b HBF will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number eighty-one. Tissue flotation bath is used for option A for removing wrinkles in tissue section B to harden the tissue C to fix the tissue D to liquefy the tissue sections. Fact available for this question it is tissue flotation bath is required after the step of step of cutting paraffin sections and before. they are placed on this slide after staining it lets tissue relax and smoothen before being mounted on the slide as well as make paraffin stick to the slide this ensure the removal of wrinkles and folds before sections are placed on the slide so we can say the main purpose of using tissue flotation bath is to remove the wrinkles in the tissue sections so we can say option a will be the correct answer for this question Move to the next question number eighty-two. Left ventricle is option A, one third time or one third of the left right ventricle, two third of the right ventricle, three smaller than the right ventricle, four or D equal size in the equal in the size to the right ventricle. Fact available for this question it is the left ventricle is the main powerhouse of the heart, having the having to pump blood. all the way around the systemic circulation because of this it has the largest mo most muscular walls of any the of any of the chambers in fact it is three times as thick as the right ventricles but talking about the size the right ventricle is equal in the size to the left ventricle so we can say 
option D or option 4 equal in the size to the right ventricle will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 83. Papenic allows staining needs option A wet fixation, B dry fixation, C no fixation, D post fixation. Fact available for this question it is the Papenicola smear is an effective method for early detection of cervical cancers. The routine practice of staining it is immediately fix the cervical smear in 95% ethyl alcohol. You can say if it is a type of wet fixation method. An alternative method for rehydrating the air dried cervical smear followed by the fixation and conventional staining method can overcome most of the problems associated with the short supply and the storage of the alcohol. Wet fixation of the slide and transportation transporting them to the cytology centers if pap smear are prepared at the peripheral center. So we can say it is a type of wet fixation technique that is used for the fixation of the pap smear or papanicola smear. So we can say option A wet fixation will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 84. Plasmin activator causes option number 1, option A clotting, B fibrinolysis, C thrombus formation, D all of these. Fact available for this question is plasmin is an autologous serum protease that is a key component of the fibrinolysis cascade. Plasmin is a non-specific protease usually present in the human serum and it is responsible for degrading, degrading a variety of plasmin sorry plasma proteins it is specific its spe specific physiological role is into the degradation of the fibrin clots or we can say it is a kind of fibrinolysis so we can say option b fibrinolysis will be the major function of the plasmin so option b will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 85 the bronchioles end up into a balloon like structures called or known as option a Pons B, epididymis B, C, alveolus D, media stenum. Fact available for this question it is the bronchial tubes divide into the smaller air passage called bronchi and then into the bronchioles. The bron these bronchioles and into the tiny air sacs or air bags called alveoli that you can see in the given figure where oxygen is transferred from the inhaled air to the blood. After absorbing oxygen, the blood levels, blood leaves the lung and it carries to the heart and then through the various other parts of the body. So we can say it is a alveoli that is the airbag or balloon like structure that forms after the division of the bronchioles. So we can say option C alveoli will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 86. Oxygen forms option A 11% of air, B 21% of air, C 48% of air, D 78% of air. It is one of the general knowledge question and the correct answer for this question it is 21% of the air is composed of oxygen. So option B will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 87. Hemoglobinuria is seen in option A hemolytic anemia, B iron deficiency anemia, C megaloblastic anemia, D non-megaloblastic anemia. Fact available for this question it is what is hemoglobinuria? Hemoglobinuria is a condition in which oxygen transported protein or oxygen transporting protein hemoglobin is found abnormally in the high concentration in the urine. The condition is caused by the excessive intravascular hemolysis in which large number of rare blood cells are destroyed thereby releasing the free hemoglobin into the plasma. Excess hemoglobin is filtered by the kidney which excrete into the urine giving urine a purple color. So we can say in case of hemolytic anemia where we can see the this condition or hemoglobin in the urine known as the hemoglobinuria. So we can say it is option A hemolytic anemia will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 88 of which substance in the body yields the most calories options are a glucose b glycogen c protein d lipids one of the commonly asked question as a general knowledge question as well as in various paramedical exams fact available for this question is out of six nutrients carbohydrate proteins and fats provides calories each gram of carbohydrates and protein yields four calories whereas 
each grams of fat or lipid yields 9 calories so we can say it is fat or lipids that yields or gives the maximum or most calories to the body so we can say option d lipids will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 89 milk is deficient in which vitamin options are a vitamin c b vitamin a c vitamin b12 d vitamin k it is also one of the general knowledge question fact available for this question it is milk is a rich good source of calcium magnesium phosphorus potassium selenium and zinc many minerals in the milk are associated together in the form of salt such as calcium phosphate talking about the mineral milk is deficient in the iron so if it is asked for the minerals it then it will be the iron will be the correct answer for this question here it is asked about the vitamins the vitamin that is not present in the milk is vitamin c vitamin c is known as the ascorbic acid or ascorbate in many multicellular organisms it acts as an essential nutrient that is required for the repair of the worn or worn out tissues and enzyme based synthesis of the neurotransmitters so we can say it is vitamin c that is not found to be present in the milk talking about the if it is asked about the or for the minerals then it will be the iron will be the correct answer for this question that's all for the today thank you for watching the video please subscribe our channel lab tech world if you like our work then like and share our videos with your friends who are preparing for the upcoming lab technician competitive exams thank you thank you very much